Oh, you're looking at a nice way. She's just had her breakfast. We stared enough. I don't know whether it was the reindeer over there or Santa. Just maybe thinking about. I could rip them apart in minutes. Stop licking the sofa. Good morning. It is Saturday morning. It's Vlogmas Day 9, 9th of December, and I'm going to go and get my daughter. We're getting a train to Edinburgh and we're picking up our other daughter. Well, my other daughter. Um, she'll go on the train where she lives. So, yeah, we're going to Edinburgh. Have a look at the, the markets and everything that's going on there today. It's raining. Hopefully, it won't be raining in Edinburgh. Um, so a wee bit rushed there, I've went and smudged mascara, I don't know if you can see it, blooming mess, but anyway, the rain will make it worse. <laughs> Train station in Edinburgh now, we're just heading out. I think I've lost my daughters actually. It was bad enough yesterday, but here we go. We've got it again. I'd rather have snow, so I'll see you somewhere over there. Tam's usual starter, <laughs> chaps, and you couldn't call that salad. No, oh, it's cucumber lettuce. What? Cucumber lettuce is a snack.
evening. We're back home now in the warmth and the coziness. It's another miserable, rainy, cold day. Wasn't out in it too much, just got out of the car and into the restaurant um, with Tam and his family. So yeah, we enjoyed our wee meal over at the Chinese restaurant. And we just came back here for a wee while and then Tam's family went home because they've got quite a long drive ahead of them and the weather out there was really terrible. So I just put on my Christmas jumper today eh, and because I've got sore feet from my gallivant in Edinburgh yesterday I had to wear Converse trainers because my toes are sore, they're sore when I move them, my hips are sore. I could not have wore anything with a heel today at all. So it was just in the car, in the restaurant, out the restaurant, back in the car and home, but I couldn't heat up. I was freezing, even sitting in the car. I was leaning forward, I had my seatbelt on, but leaning forward um, to the heater of the car and I couldn't heat up, but nice and cosy now. So it was a lovely day, we thoroughly enjoyed it. They came up with some gifts and uh, oh, a nice wee plant here for me, um, a wee poinsettia, and it's real, so I'll look after that and maybe keep growing it. Um, and hopefully it'll flourish again for next Christmas. But anyway, I didn't do, I will, I did the claps that you have just seen from Edinburgh. The rain never stopped and it, it wasn't my phone stopped working I don't it was getting wet and the more I was trying to film some clips it was getting wet and then it would just stop working so I gave up in the end it was too wet far too wet and far too busy you just couldn't get moving so we were soaked through through and uh, I had taken a hat with me because I didn't want to walk about in all these crowds up in Edinburgh with an umbrella up. Some people did. I nearly got poked in the eye a few times. Um, so I didn't want to put my umbrella up and have to watch where you were walking. So I had taken a wee hat with me, put that on my head. It got soaked. The coat I had on got soaked. I wasn't dressed for a day like that because yesterday morning it wasn't raining. So I thought I'll put new boots on that I've got. They've only got about a, a wee, an inch and a half heel, but I hadn't worn them before and that was a big mistake. But I just thought, well, having, I'm having a day out with my two girls. I'll get dressed and uh, not thinking about the weather. But anyway, I realised when we got out to the car how heavy the rain was. And by the time we got to Edinburgh, it was even heavier. So I just had my camel coat on, I had a jumper underneath that, I had a scarf, the scarf got soaked, even my jumper got wet, um, my feet were killing me after walking about for a, a good wee while, mind you, before my feet started hurting. So in the end, we went to a, a mall, um, St James's Square, there's a, there's a big mall there, shopping mall, we got something to eat there as well, I'll tell you about that in a minute. And uh, my daughter was buying things, you know, Christmas presents. We, we, the three of us were, if we saw something, we would just buy it. And uh, I ended up getting an H&M and I got a pair of flat shoes, you know, ballet pumps. And another scarf and another hat. And the hat was far too big for me. And my hair was a riot because the rain had soaked through the hat so it went all curly and I couldn't take the hat off again I had to keep the hat on even sitting in the restaurant getting something to eat the hat was on I wouldn't take it off so that was my fault I should have thought just put a another coat on you know a quilted coat on and um, wore better shoes but I didn't so that'll never happen again I can assure you it was murder so anyway, I put the, the, the wee flat shoes on, but my feet still felt sore and we were cold. But through all this, we had a really great day. We, we laughed a lot. Um, the shops, I didn't realise. Not in Princess Street. The shop in Princess Street isn't that great. There's a Primark and I think it was a super drug. There was other wee shops. But when we went to these malls, there's also um, a shopping mall at Waverley Station, the train station, and we got a few things in there for Christmas gifts before we went out into the rain. 
and uh, the stuff that was in the bags ended up getting a wee bit wet too, these Christmas gifts, so I'm hoping that they're going to be all right. And uh, then we went to the markets and they were just chock-a-block, they were, they were full, but we had a nice time, some lovely stuff in it. And uh, then we went to all these different malls, we went away up, I don't remember the street, we went up to, there was kids kind of, you know, rides for kids there as well. Then St George's Square, this big shopping centre, I absolutely loved it. The shops in it were amazing, it was really good. Um, so we went up to the fourth level and a lot of the eateries, you know, the restaurants and that, the queues were right out the door. But Gordon Ramsay's um, Street Burger, I think it was called, there was only a few people waiting, so my daughter's waiting and asked, but they says it would be 55 minutes before we would get a table, so we went away and did some more shopping. Feet getting, just, the, the flats weren't helping much at all. My feet was, they were so sorry, my slippers coming off. Um, the, my feet was just sore and that, that was that. So we did more shopping, walking about, and then we went back to the restaurant. And that's where we sat until it was time to go home for the train. Now, my daughters decided to have a wee glass of wine, so we ended up, we were going for one train. No, we'll get another glass of wine, go for the next train. So after about three glasses of wine, and then I ended up getting a cocktail, I got myself a Bellini. We said we'd better go and get the train. So out we went, it was pitch black outside, we are walking up a kind of inclined, but it brought us to the other end of Prince's Street, where you come out, you've got the Balmoral Hotel and then the Waverley train station's right next to it's platform 14 for the train and uh, the train it was sitting at the moment was going to Dumblain, so that wasn't for us. So when the next one came in, it said, Queen Street at Glasgow, so we got on that train only to find out that wasn't our train. Our train would have been the third one that would have come in after that one left because there's different trains come into the same platform but going different routes, maybe to Glasgow or wherever, Dunblane, one of them. Um, and it wasn't until we were sitting in it, you know, I was looking at the train and I, you know, this is a different train, I've never seen a train like this coming from Glasgow to Edinburgh or coming back from Edinburgh to Glasgow, any trains that I've got on, on our route. So anyway, I was getting a bit suspicious and when we stopped at one station, it was that dark, it was, and then with the rain on the windows, it was difficult to see, but I could just make out Linlithgow. <laughs> I said to my daughter, I says, we've just went through a station at Linlithgow and she says we're on the wrong train. <laughs> So there we were, we didn't know this train was going to Glasgow, Queen Street. So that would have meant we'd need to have went away into Glasgow, which is a longer journey for us. And then had to get another train to get back out to get home again. So this man, it was sitting next to me, you know, we had went and we asked him about where, I asked him, where, where are you getting off? And he mentioned where he was getting off. A place I don't know, none of us knew. Anyway, in the end, we got off at this station. This man was here with his daughters. And we had to phone a taxi from there to take us home. Took us to my daughter. So my eldest daughter, she doesn't live in the same village because we went in the wrong train. So she couldn't get off at her station because we weren't on that route. So she ended up staying with my, my youngest daughter last night. Tam came to my youngest daughter's house and picked me up once the taxi brought us back. I mean, the taxi from the place we were at was about 20, 25 minutes um, before it took us back home. That's, that was another wee journey for us. And just the laugh we had sitting in this taxi, just talking about the, the three of us, the three stooges right enough. So I was never as glad to see Tam get into my own wee car with Tam and get away home. But oh my God, I was tired. My feet, the state of my feet because of these boots that I wore. 
it was just horrendous, it really was, but it was a lovely day. We had a great day, we really did, we thoroughly enjoyed it, so we're going to be doing it again um, when the weather's better. I'm hoping to go up during the week with Tam because I thought it was that good um, compared to Glasgow's Christmas market and the George's Square this year in Glasgow. Edinburgh beat it hands down. It really did. Um, I'm sorry to say that, but it did. Uh, but that was a, a, I preferred Edinburgh this Christmas and Glasgow, no. It's, it's not for me. And I don't know whether maybe next year I'd, I would even bother going into Glasgow. I think I would just go to Edinburgh. The trains were packed full of people. The streets were packed full of people. It was just, the atmosphere was so good. I just wish I could have filmed more, but it, it just it couldn't happen with all that rain. I don't know whether it must have been doing something with my phone and then my phone was cutting out, you know, because that's what I use to film eh, my vlogs. But yeah, it was a great day. We thoroughly enjoyed it. And eh, the rain, that was the only the only thing, but it never stopped us enjoying herself. And in that restaurant too, we had a bit of laugh there as, as well. You know, it's just some the many stupid things. It was me mainly that were getting that because cause I went like that to the waiter. They, they were embarrassed that I had called the way, you know, like this. They thought I shouldn't have done that. So it was just a lot of stupid things like that. They just, I think their mother embarrassed them quite a lot in that restaurant. But anyway, but it was all good fun. The staff in that restaurant were absolutely brilliant. It's so friendly, so nice. And uh, I would definitely go back there. But they got the bill. I only had a wee portion of fries and they had, oh, it was burger, oh, there's a fancy name for it. I can't remember it now. Something de tra, tra, tra oh, I don't know. It begins with a name, something de, de tra. It's, it's a burger with cheese on it and then it had dry a... You know the crispy onions you can get in Ikea, it had them, it had the cheese, it had some salad and it had red onions, pink pickle and they had that with fries um, and the fries come with uh, some kind of seasoning on it, it's a secret season but we think it might be piri piri, they were nice, they were nice and I had a couple of cups of tea and then I had my bellini because it was such a good day. When we were in the markets, I had a, a warm mulled wine. So we were standing in the markets a wee while drinking this. My daughter got a beer, my younger daughter got the same as me, mulled wine. And Anthony was with us because my daughter didn't have anyone to look after him. So we, we just, we took him with us. Um, he had churros and the churros were much better than the ones that I had got in the Glasgow market the week before when I went with Tam. So all in all, yeah, I would recommend it. Expensive, yes. That restaurant, when they got the bill, it was well over £100 for what they got. I think my daughter said it was £18 something for the burger. So that was like, they both got that, then we got... The chaps, me and Anthony, and then they get wine, and then I, the Bellini was £9.50, the cocktail that I got. So, yeah, expensive. So, if you're wanting to go to, like, Edinburgh, if, you know, you're, you're here or you're going on holiday, make sure you've saved up and you've, you've got money. Because there were loads of things that I saw that I wanted to buy, but expensive and I was too busy buying some Christmas presents so and I ended up spending money on myself the shoes the scarf and the hat now that came to £47 for a pair of flat shoes pumps a scarf and a hat I'll let you see it one day I've put them all in to get water well not the pumps they're in I to dry them out they're in the wardrobe now, all nice and dry and clean, and the scarf and the hat are in to get washed, along with my other scarf and hat that get soaked through. But anyway, that was Saturday. Friday, which was Vlogmas Day 8, I had my grandson's nativity play in the morning, I had the dentist in the afternoon, and then after that, 
I went to Tesco with my son to get some shopping and he was getting some shopping. Then we went to pick up my other grandson from school um, and I was just exhausted that you know, it was just, it's been all go, it's been quite hectic, that I didn't, there was nothing that I thought I could have filmed anyway, that, you know, it would have made a decent vlog. So I said, I'll just need to wait, I'll film yesterday, that, that this was what I was thinking, I'll do that, I'll film the markets up in Edinburgh and round the shops, but it didn't work out that way. So... What more can I say? That's me. Um, we're still going out and about yet. Tomorrow, I don't think I need to go outside the door. Thank goodness. I just want to stay in, get some more Christmas wrapping done and maybe just sit back and watch a Christmas movie, maybe. Might manage it tomorrow because Tuesday, I've got another nativity play. But I can't stay for it all because Tam and I have to go for our immunisations for Covid and the flu is too, so I'll need to leave that nativity play early and uh, then I think the rest of the week is mine, it's mine, apart from if Tam and I go to Edinburgh one day, so we'll see how it goes anyway. But I will blather on no longer, I just wanted to sort of explain why there wasn't a Vlogmas 8 and then what happened to Vlogmas 9. So this is Vlogmas 10 and I will upload it on the 11th of December. So when you're watching this it will be Monday, yeah Monday and uh, hopefully I'll be sitting back relaxing. Anyway I hope you have had a nice weekend. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you again very soon.